Hello Zettlers, this is just a little head, heads up on how I use tabs in the archive. You see, so you see here there are three tabs open. I hope uh, with a dark theme it's still uh, observable. This first tab is my uh, navigation tab, so to say. So here I search the Zettelkasten or my Zettelkasten. Um, uh, when I'm just going through, this for example is a safe search that is related to um, this note, um, to, or rather to this book, it's Stuart McGilchrist, The Master and His Emissary, um, and those are all the related structure notes um, that I am uh, that I need as a, as a quick access. This, or the next tab, is my uh, workspace or my canvas. It's just a note. As you can see here, there's no uh, structure note denominator. And I'm, uh, I'm breaking apart a section of the book that is called individual versus categories and um, I'm transforming this this, per, uh, this part of the book or the subsection into uh, a dis separation or a difference between type and token. Uh, the token, not, normally you would say type and token and not token and type, uh, but I changed the, uh, the order because token or I always name the right hemisphere first as a convention in this department of my Zettelkasten and um, therefore the, or the right brain is responsible for uh, managing tokens and the left brain is more, uh, more responsible for managing types and so uh, this, uh, this other order is uh, used by me. So. Um, as you can see here, it's a little bit messy. Uh, some uh, some references are, are already placed, and so I uh, break this subject, uh, subject, uh, subsection apart and uh, put it together with this new twist on it, and then work on it until it uh, will be my own. So it's not just um, writing or uh, capturing the idea um, that uh, Stuart McGilchrist uh, presents to me, but rather I'm uh, extracting the essence as I see it and I don't see the category, uh, the, or I don't see it under the topic uh, individuals versus categories as he sees this part of lateralization of the brain, but rather as a difference between type and token. This is, to me personally, uh, interesting or more interesting because the type token uh, difference is used in um, what's Sprachphilosophie, uh, language philosophy, or uh, philosophy of language, or something, or analytic philosophy. That's, uh, I think, that's the appropriate uh, term in English, and uh, metaphysics. Uh, so I can uh, relate this um, this uh, topic or this thought to my departments in my Zettelkasten uh, uh, that deals with language and metaphysics. And this third uh, tab, uh, here you can see what I searched or what uh, I searched to, uh, to highlight the note. I won't show you it. It's um, big or medium to big uh, draft for uh, uh, general and uh, and comprehensive article on backlinks and uh, especially backlinks in the Zettelkasten system. Um, but I can't show you this because, of course, uh, uh, we want to end this video with a cliffhanger. So, what can you take out of this video? Um, I would open as many tabs as you have working modes. 
This is at least uh, what I find useful. So it's not, um, they're not created equally or opened equally, but I have one. The first one is my navigation, uh, navigation tab. So there I um, browse through my Zettelkasten. This second uh, tab always keeps open when I'm, or I'm uh, keeping open as long as I work on the type token or token type aspect of the brain lateralization. And because um, I'm thinking, uh, thinking at the moment a lot about backlinks, I leave this third tab open um, so I can quickly access it and have it um, uh, and can fill in my thoughts and create new uh, new notes and branch from it and so on and so forth. So this would be a structure note on um, backlinks. I hope you find it useful. Please use the forum and not uh, the YouTube comments uh, to engage with this video. Bye bye.